Hi everyone. Today I want to show you a little bit of information about finding the right uh, firmware revision and figuring out what firmware revision your controllers are capable of. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to compatibility.rockwellautomation.com and that will take us to the compatibility and download center. Now I am going to look for my controllers and show you the different controllers that I have and the different firmwares that they can have. So we'll go to Downloads by Product, and we're going to search for the controllers. I have a 1769 L16 ER controller dash BB1B. It's the only one that I have here. I have a Series A. And over here, it'll give you a list of firmware revisions you can utilize. You can see I can go 20s. They're all gone. Uh, they're, they've all been outdated version 32, 33, and 34 are the options that I have. And I'm, let's just say I want to have version 32. So I have the ability to find and download the version 32 firmware revision for my L16ER controller. Some controllers you'll find don't have the ability to go past version 20. The other controller that I have is an L32E controller. You'll note that the number is higher. The other one was an L16, but my Series B L32E cannot go above version 20. So the best that I can do is version 20.014. Now, version 32 takes you into Studio 5000. Version 20 forces you to use RS Logix 5000. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Here's our version 30 or our version 20 L32 controller. It's an older version of the RS Logix 5000 platform. And also another critical difference you'll see in, is in how the controller treats its I.O. tree. The L32E has the it has different modules in different places than you would normally assume. The controller is in slot zero. The Ethernet card, however, if we look at this, is actually slot 1. And then it moves on to the Compact Logics bus. So the first card that you put on is actually in slot number 2. This is a little different than if we go over here to Studio 5000. You can see we've got in slot 1 our controller, but the Ethernet card is integrated to the controller. It's a part of it. It's on board. The Internet protocol is inside the controller. So we don't have the Ethernet in slot 1 so that when we add modules onto the side of it, you'll end up with slot 2 is module number 2. So, or slot 1 is module number 2. So those are a few of the differences that you'll have. You have to get online with uh, Rockwell and take a look at the different controllers and make sure when you find one, I, I do a lot of my shopping on plchardware.com, you might find that you've got this L32 that's only $900. That works great if you're needing something or okay with something that's only running version 20. But if you need it, this controller to talk to, to be on the Studio 5000 platform and be a modern unit that's still serviced by Rockwell, you're going to need to make sure that you buy the right thing and that you have the, mo the most up-to-date firmwares for it. I specifically bought this controller at about one quarter the price of the others because I actually wanted something that was a version 20. So you have to make sure that your firmware revision or the controller that you're looking at will fit your firmware revision. That's very important. So I hope this gave you a little bit of, shed a little bit of light for you on how to find that information. So going to compatibility.rockwellautomation.com, this is where you get everything. And if you want to find an L81E, sorry, 1756 L81E, click on it. It'll give you the firmware revisions. So any controller you want, make sure you verify your firmware revisions and make sure that, that fits for what you want to do with your controller. So thanks. Have a good one.